Oh, it's up. It's first. It's week four at the MDL now. We're going against Hector today. And this is a very, very scary fight because he's got that Gallard arm that's been wrecking house every fucking week. And it's kind of scary. But thankfully I have one kind of uh, way to deal with it. Um, so that's going to be what the lead you're going to see here in a second is. Um, so the Gallard arm, what I'm planning on doing, since he has like three follow me users, I am going to run a Mianxiao next to Archeops, fake out um, Gallard arm and Rock Slide, and that will ignore follow me and guarantee the KO. So that's my plan going in, right? I have to figure out what do I make around this. I have a Trick Room mode with a Romatisse Ferrothorn. I have Kingdra, that's Crit Kingdra this week. That's kind of a max option in the back if I need it. I can also max Archeops if I need. Um, Landorus just there to do damage. It just has a really good move pool matchup. Since it's got Grass Knot for Blastoise. It's got Sludge Bomb for Kiss and uh, Comfe. It's got Earth Power to neutrally hit everything else except for Pikachu. That's just going to Oko. So, I decide I want to have Landorus and Ferrothorn as my back for this game because Ferrothorn hits literally everything on this team. And it just looks like it's going to do work. I'm also considering bringing Aromatis at some point. But also, I'm like trying to figure out, like, I guess where I'm gonna fit that in in my four is my main thing, because I want to make sure I can, I want to have this generalized lead, and Romatis just along with that lead, needing the Landorus, and wanting Ferrothorn for the matchup, I can't really like dispose of any of them. So we get Pikachu and Blastoise as the lead, and I'm like, oh fuck. That's probably a uh, max blast wave, maybe. Maybe it's gonna shell smash here or something. Either way, I kind of didn't really read that. I probably should have faked out the blast wave and started like you turning out to the Ferrothorn. It's probably what I should have done. But if you fake out the Pikachu just so that like I can get rid of it easier. Follow me. Is I don't even know why I did Pikachu. I should have just done the Blastoise. Because maybe I was preventing Nuzzle. Ash, I have no clue. That was just a misplay. Miss target. Anyway, here I decide I just kind of want to cycle my Mons out. This doesn't have a great matchup here. Um, Archeops can kind of get shredded by anything that this Blastoise does. Mianxiao. Like, basically everything except for Landorus doesn't have the greatest matchup. So I'm thinking I double U-turn, maybe cycle shit out. And maybe I can get um Archeops back in a different position in case say he tries to go for a Thunder Wave. But he follow me. That's fine. Um first U turn comes out. Almost KOs the Pikachu, but just barely doesn't. So we're not really getting any chip out. Also, are you going to Ferrothorn here? Why? Because it has an iron defense up. I don't know. But uh, I noticed body, or not body press, but I, I should have known body press. I just kind of forgot that Blastoise has got body press. But anticipation tells me, yeah, uh, Blastoise definitely has something for this Ferrothorn. Um, so I'm assuming it's something like Focus Blast or Aura Sphere. Something like that, some fighting move. But I get Archeops back in, just in a different spot. And a second Iron Defense goes up. And now I'm like, fuck. Of course, why Why did I bring in Ferrothorn? Again, misplay on misplay. And... Really, I'm playing a game positioning here. To be completely honest. And now he's got in his game positioning where he's got... Togekiss. I have no clue what this Togekiss set is. Is it Crit Kiss? Is it Serene Grace Kiss? Is it Support Kiss? 
Probably not support kiss because it's a um support blast not support blastoise, but bulky blastoise. I'm like, okay, ha the one way I'm gonna get rid of this blastoise is by leech saving it. I really have no other way around it. And if I get some leech seeds off, then at least I could maybe stall it out, you know? So we get the max kiss here, which is kinda warranted. Um, we're just gonna kind of see what happens. Also, Rock Slide Miss onto Togekiss is kind of brutal. Not gonna lie, uh, it's like Rock Sliding for the Togekiss just to get some chip off onto it. He goes for the first Max Airstream of the match, which, yeah, it exists. Um, we get a Yawn off onto the Archaeops, which is fine because I can U turn out, and Archaeops isn't in the greatest position anyway. Though it does threaten heavily that uh that Togekiss, so it does prevent me from actually maxing it in the future. Or maxing it next turn. Maybe that was what he was reading. He was probably reading a max Archaeops at that point. But yeah, I just didn't feel like that was the right call. But so I U-turn out, and I just got a protetic thing here, mainly to scout out what happens with the Togekiss. What's it gonna do? What's it, how's it gonna target? Because obviously it was wanting to take out that Ferrothorn ASAP. It's a pretty big threat. So we'll, we'll just see how it goes, you know? I think I bring in Manchow here because we have Sash at least. And with Sash I get like one fake out off. Maybe I can get a Rock Slide out. But okay, so we scout the Max Flare. And it does nothing, which with the crit as well, which should have told me that hey, I sh either Ferrothorn's a beast or I should actually start calcing this, seeing what the Togekiss is at or what it's rocking, because that did a lot less than I was expecting. Not gonna lie. So, um, I will say, uh, what's it called? That might come back later, not knowing the Togekiss calcs. But my Tailwind's gone now. Um, so I, I have to just fake out Blastoise, because, uh, what's it? Mian Chao is gonna just die for nothing if I don't. And then I target down Togekiss just to deal with it. But actually, why do, I don't know why I exactly did that, because I know that Ferrothorn would be the one being targeted anyway. I should have just rock slided and cut my losses. But anyway, I digress. I digress. Worst case, there's a body press. Blastoise probably wouldn't outspeed me at that point, I don't think. But anyway, we have Archaeops Lando now in the back. And I'm forced to max Lando at this point. Because Togekiss is... Well, to be frank, a nuisance. And with the amount of crits it's hitting, I'm pretty sure it's a crit kiss. Right? It, but I also need to take out this Blastoise as soon as possible. Again, I sh what I should have done as well here is targeted kiss first, getting max use up, and so that would at least guarantee a KO into the uh on the Blastoise, whereas knowing it's a super fucking bulky set, I should have known that Overgrow wouldn't have KO'd. Again, small mistakes on my end. Big targeting mistake here. Dazzle is just gonna take out me and Shao and Honestly that's just how it is. That's how it is. Um and we get the yawn out from the Blastoise, which, not ideal. And Blastoise lives on like 1 HP now, which is kind of rough. 
I'm not a huge fan of the fact that it's living like that. Living like Larry, if you will. And then, Leech Seed. I'm hoping and praying that Leech Seed is eventually gonna, like, take out this Blastoise, but the fact that it doesn't, uh, I'm a loss for words, because I have to stall, right? Okay, I have to, but... So I protect the Archeops here, because I'm thinking, well, Archeops is in a world of hurt, and if he takes out the Archeops, then a, a sleeping Lando is nothing. So I'll protect Archeops first, and then I go for what I should have done the last turn, which is take out the Kiss. Which, with my best attacking move, the sledge, uh, the max ooze, when did do great. Wait, why, what? The... I didn't protect? Why didn't I protect? Did I tailwind? Why the fuck did I tailwind? I should have just got protected. I, I had the right mindset as well. I was going for it. God, okay. Anyway, Togekiss doesn't die. Again, should have done that last turn, then I would have KO'd the Blastoise. And... Now we've just got the Leaf Seed shit going again, you know? But obviously, I've, I lose this match. And... It's a war of attrition at this point. But... I think the main thing here is that I need to figure out how I need to get rid of this Blastoise. So I know there's two good ways. First off is Grass Knot. Second off is Kingdra with Focus Energy Crit ship. So at least that's the idea, right? So I can probably bring Kingdra next game, and if I have a good position to maybe proc a Focus Energy, then max the Kingdra, I would be in a really solid position. So I'm thinking maybe that's what I try to go for here or go for next. Um, I definitely do need to bring Lando because of how vital its coverage is, and the fact that I, like it can live if I if it needs to. Um, but I'm also thinking if he brings a Darm lead to counter whatever I bring for say Blastoise, I am fucked. You know, I, whatever Darm leads he goes for, if I don't do what my original lead is, I have nothing for it. So I'm pretty much stuck with what I have, right? So that's the idea I've got going in. And now I'm just gonna let the rest of this play out, because this is very stally. But what we do see is Blastoise dies. Um, Darm's going to come in, and uh, that'll finish the game with Togekiss, right? But anyway, I'll be back in the what's it called, team previews. Okay, so we're back for the team preview, and first off, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can do some Aromachi shit, right? I already went through my ideas. Maybe I can do some Aromachi shit, maybe get some, uh, well, because obviously my speed was a really bad factor. So, maybe if I can do Aromachi shit instead, I will have the speed advantage. But then I realize, wait a second, even if I do this... Aromatis isn't guaranteed to be alive by the time it goes down and to reset Trick Room. And Fair Thorn is like probably going to die with the amount of different things. And I'd be forced to max their Fair Thorn at that point as well. Um, 
as well as the fact that, like, I don't really have a good way of getting in Ferrothorn after I set Trick Room. I mean, I could, like, obviously ally switch switch, but in my head, that just didn't work. So instead, I'm like, well, Ferrothorn didn't even do too much last game because it didn't have the speed control. And I want to go for the fast variant again because of what I was listening earlier. So, I'll leave Ferrothorn and I'll bring the King Drone instead because of obvious reasons. Of course, I probably, again, should have, uh, not probably should have, but it would have been a lot different of a game had I gone for the pure, uh, pure trick room, you know? So we do see the Togekiss peak lead, and obviously that's follow me for the Togekiss, prevent me from taking it out early, and what is it? Togekiss is just going to max straight away. So I'm doing my calcs, right, to see what's going to happen for, uh, what's it called? To see what's going to happen if I max Rockfall into a max kiss, you know? Because Max Rockfall is about my best option at the moment. So I'm thinking, hey, I fake out Pikachu, I Max Rockfall into Kiss. We see how that goes. I'm also considering Tailwind, but I'm realizing, well, I might not live long enough for a Tailwind. And given Defeatus at its best, that's not something in the cards. I do realize, though, like, very late, that, um... What's it? This Max Rockfall is going to break my Sash, which may be a deal later, but I don't think so. It just removes my future fake out pressure, but I really just needed it for this first game. So again, we get about exactly what we were expecting here with the double Max, Max Rockfall into Kiss. We'll see how it goes. Right. And follow me, obviously. And we get Rockfall. Now, what I failed to realize is that Pikachu here has this fancy little move called Nuzzle, right? And in my head, I just wasn't considering Nuzzle a thing. So, probably just because he hadn't revealed it yet, but it's like pretty obvious. You bring Pikachu, you're going to have Nuzzle. So, I probably should have, what I could have done there is maybe I max Flutterby into the Pikachu, get rid of it, prevent from the Nuzzle from happening. And, uh, of course, I fake out. And then that leaves a 1 HP Mian Shao. Or live and kicking to be forced to, uh, what's it called? To launch a rock slide, get that Togekiss down, or maybe U turn out, and then I can max rock fall into the Togekiss, knowing that minus one is not doing too much. And Probably with the, what's it called, with the Rock Slide chip, it would probably be done. So, of course, that's probably what I should have done. But, of course, Nuzzle comes out. And we protect it on the Lando, which is kind of unfortunate. But fortunate enough, because I knew that, at least, this is where I started playing slightly smarter, you know? So, I was like, okay. Obviously, Archeops, sure. But once you get Blastoise out, it's not going to do shit. Also, I maxed Flutterbite into Pikachu because I was expecting another follow me. And so I was like, well, if I'm going to max, max something into the Pikachu, at least I'll do a Flutterbite to nerf that uh, Togekiss just a little bit. And now I'm like, well, it's so low. Maybe I can kill it with Sand Chip. And so that's what I'm kind of playing around at this point. 
Also, I know Landorus is going to be targeted again, right? Now that I have a partially neutered Archaeops, you can do whatever it can do whatever it wants, or Hector can do whatever it wants against Archaeops. So like, Landorus is definitely getting targeted down. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, maybe I killed the Togekiss, but Landorus staying is not ideal for me. Landorus is basically my win con at this point, right? I, of course, I've got Kingdra in the back, but Togekiss at plus one speed with no Tailwind on my end and a max Tailwind setter and that Blastoise there, I am not going to get the chance to do anything with that Kingdra, so I might as well sack it off. And try to kill this Togekiss real quick. Of course, Airstream comes out. Kills Kingdra, as expected. So, goodbye Kingdra. Crit set didn't come out yet. But, it's fine. And, well, let's see who moves first. Me, or... Blastoise. Blastoise says, okay. So targeting wouldn't have been too different. So I shouldn't have worried about targeting. But yeah, paralyze. Togekiss is gone. And so, yeah, now I have to like desperately play around this sand chip like I played around the leech seed chip last time. Because I don't have a solid way to kill that Togekiss anymore. Right. Now I could have probably like say Flutterbite into say the Blastoise, and so even though Chris Kiss was still on the field, what was going to end up happening is that its crits wouldn't be as prominent, or I wouldn't have to care about them as much. But yeah, since I didn't do that, and since we got the Para, I'm double protecting, trying to fish for Sand Chip, knowing that well, this is this game is kind of lost at this point. Um, Togekiss, if it's a double crits, it could totally just kill both these mons at once and we get an iron, sorry, if we get a blast, sorry, blah, blah. if we get, say, a body press out of, uh, Blastoise that's targeted correctly, oh my god, I'm fucked, right? So I'm just fishing for the sand chip here to kill Togekiss, but it doesn't, it still lives on just such a low amount. And I've just got to deal with it at this point, since our plus two speed kiss exists. I'm thinking, okay, maybe I fish for the double protect here just to preserve Lando HP. And then if somehow Archaeops survives, I'm not really trying to, like, what's it called, do too much about that. But if somehow Archaeops survives, then I can get the Tailwind off right before it dies. But it, it survives, yeah. So, Tailwind is up. And I'm thinking, well... Actually, you know, I'm thinking very wrong, to be completely honest. Um, my thinking is that, oh, Archaeops will maybe outspeed Togekiss. So... But anyway, um... That was wrong. So, uh, but what I'm doing is here, I'm, I'm gonna kill Togekiss, I rock slide, just for damage, right? And goes down to the boss ways, right? As you would expect. And Blast Ways flinches. Awesome. First bit of hacks in our favor all game. Fine by me. What I should have done is just the exact same thing. Take out Togekiss, leave Blastoise, Rock Slide again. That's what I should have done. Instead, I mis miscalc this speed in my head. I just got the order wrong. And obviously I do that. I throw. Dazzling Gleam comes out. KOs both. GG. And so I probably wouldn't have had a great chance, but I probably would have been able to improve my differential had I done better with the targeting near the end. Anyway, GG's to Hector. Played great. Honestly, it was a really tough challenge. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye.